everyone welcome back if you are new to my channel my name is Avril and in today's video I'll be sharing with you how I decorated this beautiful farmhouse inspired Christmas tree along with a couple of DIYs incorporating my Australian native animal theme so stick around for loads more of DIY inspirations and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and to be notified every time I upload a video so let's go ahead and get started So I started off this project by DIYing some wooden ornaments for this Christmas tree. Here I'm using some Australian native animal wooden ornaments which I started off by taking their original tags off. At this stage you could use any type of wooden ornaments that go with your theme or whatever you have already got in hand. Now that I have taken the tags off, it's time to give these ornaments a coat of paint. Here I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white. I put on my gloves before I started painting because I knew this was going to be a messy job because there were so many ornaments to be painted. At this stage you could choose to paint these ornaments in any color you wish. I was going for a more farmhouse theme so I chose to paint it in white. I gave one coat of paint on all of my wooden ornaments and set it aside to dry. Now my ornaments are dry and it's ready for its next step. Here you see me using an 80 grit sandpaper to slightly sand all of my wooden ornaments. Once I was done sanding all of my ornaments, I then took a damp rag and wiped them down clean. Once I was done wiping down all of my wooden ornaments, I then separated my ornaments into two sections. Now that I have separated my ornaments into two, I decided to silver leaf my first set of ornaments. Here you see me using mud pods to glue down the silver flakes onto my wooden ornaments. I repeated this process onto the remaining wooden ornaments and set it aside to dry. While my silver leaf ornaments were drying, I started off on my next set of ornaments. So for this set of ornaments, I decided to go ahead and stamp some words on each ornament to reflect the true meaning of Christmas. This was so simple and easy to do. All I did was use my clear stamps with meaningful words and stamped it onto my ornaments. At this stage guys, you could make this more personal by adding names of your family members. Once I was done with all of my wooden animals, I then took a silver string and then tied a tag on each one of my wooden animals. This is how it turned out guys. I love how unique and personalized these Christmas ornaments turned out. Hope you guys like it too. For this next project, I thought I would share with you a fun and easy way to transform an ordinary tray into a cookie tray for Santa. All you need is an old tray and some paint. Here I'm using a water-based primer which I've already got in hand, which I then gave two generous coats of paint to the entire tray and set it aside to dry. Once my tray was all dry and ready for its next step, I then used a 80 grit sandpaper and sanded the entire tray to get my distressed look. Afterwards, I used a damp rag and wiped it down clean. Then, using a measuring tape, I marked down the center of my tray. Afterwards, using my Cricut Maker, I created some design to go with my Santa cookie tray and stuck it onto my tray. At this stage guys, however, if you do not have a Cricut Maker, you could always stencil down these words using a stencil or even if you have beautiful handwriting, you could draw it in. So this is how my Santa cookie tray turned out guys, hope you guys like it. Now we are ready to put this Christmas tree together and get this look. So first of all, we need to prepare our garlands for our Christmas tree. Here I am using a berry garland, 
along with some deco mesh which I'll be then wrapping around the garland to get my desired look. Once you're done wrapping the deco mesh along your garland, this is how it should look. I had to use 5 of these garlands to wrap around the entire Christmas tree. Now all 5 of my garlands are ready to be wrapped around my tree. I started off by wrapping my garland from the top of my tree and worked myself to the bottom. I repeated this process with all 5 of my garlands, attaching them together at the end of each garland. Once I'm done putting my garlands on my tree, it's time to start decorating it. Here I'm using some silver tree picks which I'll be then randomly placing it all over my Christmas tree. Afterwards, using all of my wooden animals which I prepared earlier, I'll be randomly hanging them on my tree as well. Next, I thought of using some silver poncetias which I've got in hand to give this tree a bit of texture. Afterwards, I decided to use some koala clips which I've already got in hand to stay with my Australian native animal theme that I was going after. I placed these koalas randomly on my tree as well. Next, using some wooden signs which I've already got in hand, I placed them in between the branches of my tree. Afterwards, I finished it off by placing my silver star on top of my tree. Afterwards, I placed Santa's cookie tray underneath the tree and then placed some cookies, milk and carrots for the reindeer. So this is how my farmhouse inspired Christmas tree turned out. Hope you guys like it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you got inspired and enjoyed watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, happy crafting.